Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I just ask you, Dr. Corollos, uh, what you mean by go to the court? What What is your opinion, go to the court? What it means? Uh, I, I really don't answer uh, this question. Is the father have a decision or... Uh, yeah, yeah. What you mean by go to the court? What it mean in English or any language? What you mean? Uh, I mean... Uh, if, if, if they are uh, her parents, so uh, one yes and one no, so the court say I take decision for them. I don't know. I just say this. Okay, we don't have a court. Uh, what we do, we 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 take the word of the court. Word of the court, not court like a big movies. It is uh, some some in the hospital is called the coroner. He have a medical legal aspect or medical legal experience, so he give the word of court like like uh, legal opinion it is not a court like court you see in movies like people standing and have appeal uh, you understand yes it is like like legal opinion we called it in english word of court but it is not the court that appear in movies all right it's clear all right uh, anything else you need to add, uh, Prof? Uh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. No, thank you so much. Best wishes. Uh, welcome again and good evening. So uh, we just speak about anatomy of the upper limb and the lower limb. So any volunteer, anyone just volunteer, we show you some picture. Again, in the real exam, we have a picture. This is picture from the Royal College of Surgeon Museum. Whatever the college you enter, this is uh, Royal College of Surgeon Museum is affixed for all the four college, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Republic of Ireland, and England. You can available in the internet, available in the website of the college, available in two books, get through anatomy and through uh, what other books is Macmillan Atlas of Human Anatomy? So anyone can start. Anyone need? Yes, I can start. Uh, okay. So Dr. Nabhan, so we just need to know your uh, your uh, thumb. Uh, what is the innervation or dermatome for your thumb? Uh, for my thumb? Yes. It's uh, it's I think C C C six. C six. What about the three finger in the middle? That's C seven. Seven and the little finger. I see it. Okay, dermatome and dermatome is very, very, very important in exam. Okay, you see the picture now or not? Uh, yes, I can okay. see. It. So the C six seven eight. So it's very important to know dermatome of the hand, especially the hand. Of course, the dermatome upper limb, lower limb is important. Okay, can you see this structure? You know the name is anatomical snuff box. Can you men uh, mention the boundaries? Uh, yes, uh, posterior medial is the abductor extensor pollicis longus, and uh, laterally it's the abductor pollicis previs and the abductor pollicis previs and the uh, abductor pollicis longus. I think. Uh, okay, so you, as you see here, in the medial is a extensor pollicis longus, and laterally we have two tendons: the extensor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis brevis, uh, abductor pollicis longus. Uh, yes. Okay. So one medially. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, you see it now, okay. Uh, anatomical snuff box, okay. So this is anatomical snuff box, and this is the boundary. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't know before. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, you can show in your hand uh, how to do the movement, like abduction, abduction of the hand, how to do it. Uh, yes, I can do it. Yes. Uh, your hand in the table. So how to do abduction? Uh, 
abduction abduction yes of the thumb yes, i would i would just like fan in my hand like my fingers uh you mean like this or what no like out just fan like fan out. in my fingers are you sure are you sure <laughs> yes it is abduction i think no is abduction is a 90 degree of abduction so is this is abduction so abduction is like this what you mention laterally is extension this is flexion so this is very common also in exam so you have your hand like this so it is abducted like this so okay. this is can be abduction i show you but it is just imagine so i i uh, if you see uh, here's a slide okay so you see you see the hand here uh, yes i can see it clearly so this is abduction it is 90 degree and this is abduction and of course extension flexion opponus and uh, th this is the common, the common oh, okay. movement okay. Oh, okay all right i don't ask uh, nominate the hand because this is easy uh, it is common after that what is the, usually the common is fracture scaphoid a vascular necrosis so what is the pattern of the blood supply to scaphoid bone uh, this blood supply this is really not not proximally so uh, if there is a vascular necrosis would be in the proximal part okay if you have full and out stretched hand and have three and a half finger loss of sensation or uh, uh, numbness which bone which small hand bone is affected Uh, which small uh, uh, i think it will be the uh, scaphoid as it might affect uh, the scaphoid death. is not related to any nerve uh, what i speak speak about one of the small carpal bones if have uh, injury so can be affected the median nerve so which uh, which bone can be do that small bone the, carpal bone a hamate Oh, no so what is the common uh, injury in the hand we have a scaphoid and subluxation of lunate so usually this is occur with uh, lunate subluxation so okay. lunate subluxation is affected okay is the tip of your finger except the little finger what is the nerve supply except the tip of, uh, which okay. finger? yes little finger yes, yes. What is it? no no I speak the tip. I just close the camera again. I okay. open. Uh, uh, we speak about the tip of fingers, the nerve uh, supply of tip of fingers. It's the median nerve. Tip, median nerve. So the tip yeah. of finger is the median nerve, except the little finger. Okay. All right. So they have something. If you have loss of sensation in the area, like this area, you know, this is area, this triangle here between the thumb yeah. and, yes, and the nerve. index. Radial nerve supplies uh, this area. Uh, radial nerve. Okay. In the lower limb, if you have the same loss of sensation between the big toe and the second toe, which nerve? Uh, yes, the uh, deep brunian nerve. Deep brunian nerve. Okay, good. So it is the same the same uh, policy. Okay. Uh, we show you now uh, cadaver. Okay. okay. It is uh, it is a sample from the museum, or sometimes you have palestinated sample. It is human, normal human. Not, uh, not okay. plastic. So we give it to you. Uh, can I make it enlarged or you see it? Is this yeah, is I can like see it. This? You can see it enlarged or you don't see it now? Yeah, I can see it very clearly. Okay, so start it from A and tell me what you see. I think this is the biceps muscle. A biceps. Are you sure or think? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, all right. So don't think. Uh, what is B? Just to tell me. A, B. Uh, break your ideas. Okay. And C is the yes. uh, teres. Yes, correct. Yes. B, C, D. Where are uh, okay, the D is up there? It's uh, seems like uh, an nerve. Uh, actually, it is superficial, so it is a vein. What it could be? Okay, so this is the basal vein. Okay, D, E, and E is a vein too. So it's a This is I. I'm not sure if it is the vein or uh, it's. No, it is a vein. It is uh, a vein. Okay, it's the cephalic vein. Okay, A B C D E F. What is F? Yeah, F is the median cubital vein. Okay, after that A B C D E F, J. Yeah, J is. Uh, 
it's in it's a brachial artery uh, it is very small to be brachial artery forget this what else what the next g c g g okay so you have h what is h yeah. is this the brachial artery i think the okay. yes okay what else l what is l is the median nerve uh not uh, incorrect uh what is j, j? Yeah, Jay, this is, uh, Okay, uh, what is mus I? Is it musculocutaneous nerve? No, what is I? I, I think this is the median nerve. No, okay, I show you the answer. So, A, okay. of course, you see it, biceps uh, brachii. Okay. Uh, biceps, uh, brachii, and uh, biceps okay. muscle, and okay. can you can you just uh, go to the next slide so we can see the answers? Uh, you you have the you have the answer or not? Uh, no, okay. we can see it yet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, A is biceps muscle. B is brachialis muscle. Uh, C small muscle is pronator teres. Uh, a, B, C, D is a cephalic vein, so E is a basalic vein, and the vein in between is mediocolibital vein. Uh, what you see, G here, where is uh, G, G? Yes, G, down G. there. Uh, down there, so it is a continuation of brachial artery, so it is a radial artery. Uh, I continue with the same slide. H is a brachial artery, and... Uh, I, uh, I, we finish I, where is I? I is a cephalic vein again, and J is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, okay. and uh, the small K here, where is KK, is the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm, and the L is uh, bicepital uh, tendon, uh, okay. biceps tendon. Uh, okay. Okay, biceps tendon. Uh, you mentioned median nerve and all this is more deep, is not superficial. Okay, okay. Uh, this is what appear in exam. So in exam, we don't have a color and this is either palestinated sample or uh, from museum. Uh, it is uh, standard without color, without anything. Okay, if you okay. just look in, this is a cubital fossa if you are interested. After that, can you describe to me the relation between the brachial artery and the median nerve and the ulnar nerve just start by median nerve yeah median nerve is the most median brachial artery then the radial uh, we speak about upper arm and the middle cubital fossa so can you start yes uh, yes it starts uh, the median nerve starts laterally yes and y yes with the uh Brachial artery, just... the brachial artery yeah. no no we Bra speak now about median nerve is laterally after that what happened to it in relation to uh, brachial artery yeah uh, above the brachial artery then just medial so the... it's cross in front it and the become medial what is about the ulnar nerve yeah the ulnar nerve yes it's uh, medial on the medial uh, side all, all over the area or uh, any variation Yes, yeah, uh, if you see all here, all over the area, this one. So the median nerve is start laterally and cross in front. You see the picture or not? Yeah, I can and see. And after that, become medially. All the nerve is become longitudinal medially. What about incubital fossa? You can see the ulnar nerve or not? Yes, I can see the ulnar nerve. In the incubital fossa, is ulnar nerve is one of content or not? Uh, no, I can't see it in the cubital fossa. Why? This is a cubital fossa. You can see the brachial. You can see the median nerve. You see this picture, cubital fossa? Yes, I see it. Okay, where is the ulnar nerve now? The, what is the... Uh, 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 if you have fracture, which fracture can cause ulnar nerve injury? Medial epicondyle. Okay, so where is the position of the ulnar nerve in relation to medial epicondyle? Above the medial epicondyle. Uh, what you mean by above? Uh, you mean for anatomical position, it is in front or behind? Uh, yeah, it's in front. Uh, it's uh, behind. Sorry. It's behind. behind. So it is yes. behind the middle epicondyle. So this is why it is not a beer. As you see here, it is behind. Uh, uh, yes. So 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, again, it is behind the middle epicondyle, so it is not from the content of the middle cubital fossa, or and this is why you can see it here after that disappear. Okay, you can see this slide. So uh, you can start start it from here. Uh, uh, no, the slide you can see it. I thought it's you, the diagram. You see it or not? Uh, no. No, no, you see the slide or not? Now. Okay, so. All right, okay, sorry, because. Uh, uh, yeah. So you see it now? Okay. So this is A, all right, okay? Uh, okay. Yes, can start. <laughs> what is A, uh, B, C? Usually we give to the, uh, what happened in real exam, we give you the picture and just enumerate. We don't ask you what is A, what is B, what is C. Just start from A. What is A? Um, if you don't know, just to go to B. No problem. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, B is a flexor digitorum superficialis. Uh, this is uh, B. Uh, it is uh, a tendon and inserted in the palmar abenurosis. It is sometimes is not present. So what is this? Uh, it's, uh, it's called uh, palmaris longus. Palmaris longus, yes, correct. Okay. So uh, B is Balmaris longus. What is C? It's the cadaveric is uh, a little bit harder, so... All right, uh, okay. Uh, so A, B, C, D, what is D? What is D? D. If you don't know C, so go to D. I honestly don't know. Okay, what is a small muscle? This is a samba, and they have a muscle here, G and H. What is G and what is H? I really, I, I, need, I think I need to revise okay. that. So, uh, last thing, you have here in the little finger, we have K, and here we have M. What could be K? What is could be M? What is K? Is a abenurosis or tendon of which muscle? Flex or something? A flexor indices. Uh, no, 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 not indices. I think it's... Okay. Uh, so, I, uh, okay, I, ju I just review it again. So, A is the flexor carbi radialis. Uh, B, again, it is palmalis rongus, maybe not present in some cadaver and inserted in the uh, apneurosis or palmal apneurosis. A, B, C is flexor carbi and naris. It is the inner side. And D is flexor bolisis longus. If you go to more deeper, so again, E, where is E? E is brachioradialis. F is here, is flexor digitorum superficialis. If you go to the small muscle or muscle of the thumb, so we have ab, doctor bolisis brevis, and the okay. H is flexor bolisis brevis. If you go to the little finger, so it is flexor digiti minimi, ab, doctor digiti minimi. If you go to up to K, it is very important because this is the flexor inserted in the terminal phalanx or distal phalanx. So it is flexor uh, bolisis longus and the L, where is L? I don't see it clearly. Yes, uh, I, uh, just uh, with J. J. Uh, uh, okay. Yes, he is. Okay, all right. I will try. So L is flexor digitorum profunda, and the M, which is here, M is flexor digitorum superficialis to the ring finger. Okay, sometimes it's difficult, but first you need to use the, for the cadaver like this or blastinated sample. And again, it is easy. You can find it in Get Through Anatomy or Macmillan Atlas of Human Anatomy or in the website of the college. Usually, we we'll give you access before the exam to museum. This is from the museum. Uh, okay. okay.
All right. So uh, we just, uh, you know, the brickel plexus. And uh, we have some nerves arise from the roots, like long thoracic nerve. It's supply which muscle? Uh, the long thoracic nerve? Yes. It's anterior muscle. Uh, what happened if they have injured? Uh, it, the thoracic anterior to be a wing of the scapula. Uh, which operation you can have this injury? In surgery, uh, in general surgery. In general surgery and the uh, axilla when we do a block dissection. Can or mastectomy, all right. You yeah. have uh, mus musculocutaneous nerve arise from the lateral cord. What uh, muscle supplied by musculocutaneous nerve? It's Three muscles. Yeah, it's the biceps. Biceps P and? Yeah, brachialis and coracobrachialis. Okay, so just remember BBC, like BBC uh, radio, so it is BBC, so it is biceps, brachialis, and coracobrachialis. Okay, good. All right. So we have a tiny nerve here. It's called supra-scapular nerve. Uh, yes. Supply to muscle. Can you tell me what is the name of this muscle? Um, it's uh, supraspinatus and uh, infraspinatus. What is the function of supraspinatus? Uh, abduction of the uh, abduction. To which degree? Yeah, to, to tell which degree. 15, to 15 degree. Uh, 50, you mean 18, okay, 15, okay, no problem. After that, to be 90, which muscle? A deltoid muscle. Nerve supply. Axillary nerve. Axil what other muscles supply by axillary? It also supplies the uh, arterius minor. Arterius minor, okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yes, okay, so don't hesitate in exam. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we ask about innervations. After that, we have ulnar. In the ulnar nerve injury, we have something called ulnar paradox. So what is this? The ulnar paradox, when there is a affection of the ulnar nerve, uh, um, just closer to the flexor retinaculum. Okay, so in the rest joint, you mean yeah. what happened? Yeah, there is more flexion appears than if it's affects upper uh, uh, in the uh, elbow. In the elbow. So from a uh, practical or from a uh, mechanical point of view, which one is worse? Injury on the wrist or injury in the uh, in the in the in the in the forearm? Which one is more cosmetically bad or functioning bad? Wrist yeah. or elbow? Yeah, wrist. Uh, wrist is the more bad. What is this uh, movement? What we called it? This uh, the picture, movement? What, no, no, the picture, what is this hand? Is this yeah, hand? Kolo hand or partial kolo hand. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So after that, you can find the bone. Here is the bone. Okay. You you, you see it or not? Yes, I can see it. So we have three line here. J, I, H. It is attached of three muscle. What is this three muscle? Yeah. Victorious major. Okay. On the lateral side and okay. on the medial side, the uh, tears major and latissimus dorsi in middle. Okay. What is muscle inserted in K? Is in red here in K? Brachialis muscle. K? No, it is not brachialis. Anyone? I just confirm, but it's not brachialis. It is tortoid muscle, yes. It is tortoid muscle. All right, okay. tilt toed muscle. Okay. Uh, I show you uh, some in the lower limb. Okay. In the lower limb, for example, because we still have a time, if you need to uh, palpate the femoral artery to take a sample, what is, uh, what is, which point you choose it for femoral artery? Yeah, mid-inguinal point. Mid what is mid-point of inguinal ligament represented? Deep inguinal ring. Uh, deep inguinal ring for deep inguinal ring test. Okay, can you tell me what is the dermatome of the big toe of the lower limb? Of the big toe? L5. Oh, what is the little toe? Uh, S1. S1, okay. So it is important to know dermatome and dermatome. So in the term of nerves, so which uh, S1, it's which nerve? This area of little toe, which nerve? Um, uh, this is the superficial peroneal nerve. 
نورا ليتل 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 تو شور النيرف شور النيرف اند ذا بيك تو ذا بيك تو از ذا ديب برونيال نيرف ديب برونيال نيرف اند اولسو از ا كونتينويشن اوف ذا سافنس نيرف فروم وير سافنس نيرف ابير سوبرفيشال برونيال اوكي سافنس سافنس از اوريجينيتد فروم وير فروم ذا فيمورال نيرف Femoral nerve, okay. All right. So, uh, okay, and again, we mentioned this deep bernier is a space here. All right. Uh, femoral, tra- femoral canal, what is the importance of femoral canal? It allows the femoral vein to expand. Okay, what is the middle border of femoral canal? Uh, medial border? Ah. Uh. Of the femoral canal? Uh, It is a ligament, what we call it. Lacunar ligament. Lacunar ligament, okay, good. Yes. So lacunar ligament, because in the repair, we, we ligated in goinal with lacunar ligament by one or two stitch or put a mesh here. Okay, what usually normally content of the femoral canal? Um, lymph nodes. Lymph nodes, okay. All right, so it is important. So back again to the flesh. Of course, uh, I, I make it bigger also. This is the back of the thigh, and this is a specimen is the back of the thigh. You see the slide now? Or, uh, yeah, you can see it. Okay, it started from A, and uh, you can decide it after that. What is A? Muscle. Um, this is piriformis. Piriformis muscle, okay. B? B is uh, a small muscle. Gracilis? No, 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 I'm, I'm not. No, 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 no. It. Forget it. See? Um, the exam, don't waste the time to think. If you don't know it, don't go. Okay, just, A, B, C. I'm not sure about them. Okay, D. Okay. Uh, what H? Sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve. What is L? L is uh, superior gluteal artery. Is superior is up or down? It's up. Okay, so what is M? So it's the superior gluteal artery area. What is E? Gluteus medius. Muscle. What is F? Uh, gluteus maximus. Okay. All right. So you see this slide with explanation or not? Uh, No, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. So back again. So if you go to A, is by reformis. B and the C is a small muscle called the superior gremulus obturator. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I just asked Brasilis in a mistake. Uh, I mean, yeah, no problem. Uh, D is inferior uh, gremulus. Of course, E is gluteus medius. Of course, F is gluteus maximus. And the G is uh, quadratus femoris. Okay, if you go to down for more detail, so H, of course, is static nerve, and uh, uh, L is inferior gluteal, and again, M is superior gluteal artery. Of course, this is uh, marked just for demonstration. It is uh, G, for example, here is superior gluteal nerve, and uh, K or I, here the inferior gluteal nerve. Okay. So, what is the nervous supply of the two uh, of this glu- of E, which is gluteus? Superior gluteal nerve. Uh, say again. A superior gluteal nerve. So, it's it's like gluteus medius and uh, the uh, and which muscle? Yes, and, and the minimus. Gluteus medius and the minimus. What you expected from me is the next question. If exam, it is important to expect it, what is the next question? Yes, the Trindelberg uh, test. All right, good. So it is important. You know, what is Trindelberg test? Um, when you see that uh, the patient is having the Trindelberg uh, walk, and you want to, to, to be sure that if there is a superior nerve, uh, superior gluteal nerve injury, or if there is a gluteus medius injury. So no, there is no, you don't explain. Inside. Just explain. You, you all uh, this. You waste the time. What uh, okay, if there, is, if there is, uh, if there is dropping of uh, the right side, so the left side is affected. Uh, so what is normally in Trindenberg? If you stand in the left side, what happened to the right side? Uh, 
Yeah, we'll the stand right. in the right side. What happened to the other side? Yeah, the other side is contracted, so it can support the pelvis at position. I mean that it become up or down. Yeah, it becomes up. Becomes up. What is the root value of superior gluteal nerve? Uh, it's uh, L4. L4 is 1, 2. L4, L, L5 is 1, 2. Because 5 then is 1, 2. Okay. Uh, again, it's primary uh, remai. Okay. You look into this slide. I make it bigger also. This is a psi. Okay. Okay. Uh, left side. So it started from A, which muscle? This muscle is uh, longus. abductor longus. Uh, what is B? Yeah, sartorius. Sartorius muscle and E, B, C. C uh, up here. Okay. C is the inguinal ligament. Okay, D. D is... Uh, yeah, it might okay. be femoral nerve. Uh, what is E? Femoral e artery. Femoral artery. Uh, what is J, this one? J? Where is J? Yeah. I can... I can uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. lateral. You mean J? Well, or G? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyone. Uh, you, uh, uh, yeah, your... G. yeah, G is uh, long toughness vein. What is F? F is uh, femoral vein. Okay, what what is uh, you what is H? Adductor magnus. Okay, so first A is adductor longus. Okay. Uh, B is the sartorius muscle. C is inguinal ligament. Uh, D. Yes. Okay. All right. You 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 see it now. Okay. So, uh, okay, so again, uh, we have A, adductor longus, we have B, sartorius muscle, uh, we have C, inguinal ligament, we have D, femoral vein, because the vein lateral, not the artery, uh, E is the artery, F is the vein, and uh, G, of course, saphenofemoral junction, or great saphenous or long saphenous, H is gracilis muscle, and uh, I is rectus femoris, and of course, this lateral vastus lateralis, I don't ask about it. And the K is tensor fascia lateral. All right, I just referred to the question. Which border, this is a femoral triangle. In this femoral triangle, you can see it now, I make it bigger. So uh, what, which border of the muscle formed the femoral triangle? It started by sartorius and it started by adductor longus. Which border? Uh, so it's the uh, medial border of sartorius and the uh, the lateral border of yes it's the uh, mid medial border of sartorius and the um, i think it's the medial border <laughs> and the other medial border of adductor longus Are so you the sure? Adductor i'm sure the abductor longus is uh, uh, forms the floor no no you mean that medial border or lateral border the medial border Okay, so actually because it is perpendicular, so it is medial border of pose, medial border of adductor longus, medial border of sartorius muscle. Nervous supply of sartorius? Femoral nerve. Femoral nerve supply of gracilis? Uh, is uh, obturator nerve. Obturator nerve. Okay, so we have this area of the back of the leg, is the bubletial fossa area. I need to enlarge it, so can you enumerate A? To end. Uh, A is uh, semitendinosus. Uh, semitendinosus have a big tendon. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, they are overlap. It's not semitendinosus membranous. It's membranous. A, A is biceps femoris. Yes. Uh, A is biceps femoris. B is gastrocnemius. Medial uh, gastrocnemius. E lateral, lateral gastrocnemius. C is, uh, is medial gastrocnemius. Uh, yes. D uh, is semitendinosus. E and is uh, semitendinosus. Uh, G is uh, tibial, tibial nerve. And F is combronial nerve. H yes. is shoulder okay. nerve. All right, correct. So uh, again, uh, you see the slide also or not? Uh, you see the answer here. So uh, A yes. actually is biceps femoris because biceps femoris is 
uh, okay you know that laterally simply by f f here is okay. common linear nerve and so we this have the, the right tendon, uh, uh, yes big tendon is semitendinosa so e is semitendinosa d is semimembranosa g again is the tibial nerve which is the first structure because the artery is more deep uh, c is uh, middle and uh, B is a right. lateral uh, head of gastrocnemius muscle. Okay, of course okay. H is a shorter nerve. All right. So uh, this is what happened. Again, this is a picture just for demonstration, not count an exam. So we have cut uh, cut section in the leg for the compartment. How many compartment for the leg? Four compartments. Four compartments. So what is A? What is B? Tibia and fibula. A is tibia uh, and B is fibula. Okay, A, B, C. What is C? Uh, 